Hi, Robert Tangway, founder of EmissionsTax.org. Our environment is in decay. The growing issue of global warming and climate change, it seems like we have made little, if any, progress on protecting the environment. What will be left of a future for our children if we continue to pump our atmosphere full of carbon dioxide and other pollutants? Where will we get the fresh water we need to drink and irrigate our crops after back-to-back -back drought and we deplete the aquifers that take centuries to develop? The answer is actually quite simple. We need to avoid that outcome at any cost. We'll have to, as a people, innovate and conserve at levels never before done. This is why I wrote Incentives in the Environment, an easy to read, thought provoking, no jargon book about why we do what we do to the environment and how it led us to this current situation. If we continue on this path, I guarantee we will not solve these environmental issues in time. Incentives in the environment are made for times like these. If you follow the news like I do, you have seen that activists and political groups have been saying the same things about the environment for years. That the cost of solar is down, we're not doing enough, ice caps are melting, deforestation, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's not working. The day Trump pulled the US out of the Paris Agreement, my news feed and yours if you follow environmental news, was filled with tons of repetitive articles about the Paris Agreement and how it doesn't matter and or it does matter and the U.S. is creating a bad situation. But the situation has happened. Sadly, all that news that you hear, most of it's true. While eco-enthusiasts will go out of their way to do anything they can to protect the environment and reduce their footprint of pollution, it's just not enough, as seen by this mound of trash, or this dead, endangered animal. Don't you think it's time that another voice is heard on this matter? I do. So if you want to protect the environment and actually get results, read Incentives in the Environment. It's available right now on Kindle as an ebook, Amazon.com, or you can see it on EmissionsTax.org under Incentives in the Environment. I'm putting it up there in parts for free. You can also help support our Kickstarter, which this may be a Kickstarter video that you're watching right now. Either way, what we've done in the past has been great, but it's not enough. This is a great book, but it only describes the problem and not the solution. We cannot conserve our way out of it, only 10% of the population. Everybody needs to make and have incentives to make the proper decision and reduce their waste and protect our planet, protect our air, our water, and our earth. Things that we all own and we all depend upon. Thank you so much and I look forward to hearing from you.